Good afternoon. We're back with more Marvel Champions, and today will be a hero spotlight for Nebula. Be playing a leadership Nebula deck against Taskmaster, and we'll see how that goes. Taskmaster on expert difficulty. Nebula passed the initial test against Heroic One Rhino, which is good, and we'll see what else she is capable of for this deck. We're running the Typical leadership allies, Beast, Kalu, Maria Hill, White Tiger, those are standard. Also, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Nick Fury, Ironheart, also standard. And then we're running the Guardians of the Galaxy allies as well, Drax, Gamora, and Rocket Raccoon. In addition to Welcome Aboard, which provides cost reduction for Guardian heroes and Rapid Response and Make the Call. So we'll get the game loaded up and see how it goes with this Nebula deck. I am not expecting any miracles from Nebula because as I have talked about many times before, Marvel Champions is all about resource generation. Most card games are. And Nebula doesn't generate a lot of resources outside of her alter ego ability. She's somewhat similar to Captain Marvel in that regard. Captain Marvel really needs her alter ego in order to generate cards. Nebula can with the alter ego ability, but in hero mode she struggles to generate resources. For the setup, we've got captive allies. This is Taskmaster on expert difficulty. And we need an encounter card to start the game. And we'll get our deck, our hand drawn. Did get a technique, a combat ready, that's fine. This hand looks okay, we'll get rid of one of the rapid responses and draw another card. So we'll go ahead and after you play a, we'll use rapid response to play unyielding persistence and draw two cards for Nebula's Alter Ego ability. We'll use Combat Ready. Discard until we discard a Technique upgrade, put it into play, and resolve its special. That's going to be remove three threat from a scheme. We'll remove Hydra Patrol and go find a Hydra Minion to put into play. got a Cutthroat Ambition. Do we want another Cutthroat Ambition? I don't actually think we do right now. It's overkill. It wouldn't do much. We can use Cutthroat Ambition to pay for Weapons Master. And then use Energy and Groot to play for, pay for Kimura. Flip to Hero Form. And we'll go ahead and use Gamora to attack for two. Do I want to discard until I discard an event? I guess I could wait in, in Alter Ego form, play Gamora and attack, and if I find another combat ready, I'd be able to play it. So we discard until we find an event. It's a lethal intent. Okay. Now we'll flip to hero form, and we'll go ahead and attack for three. And I have to do the forced response of Taskmaster. And no damage, so that's fine. And then we'll go ahead and draw four. So one threat. And then I'll place one additional threat for the forced response. One attack, which we're going to go ahead and face tank, I think. If you're in hero form, take one damage. OK. And then two damage from the attack with Retaliate 1, then we have one Encounter card. So Inferiority Complex, Exhaust Your Alter Ego, Remove Inferiority Complex from the game, and then a Surge, Captured by Hydra. Place one random set aside Captive Ally face down here. And then we'll take that ally into hand once that scheme is defeated. 
I don't have an a, te a technique to play, unfortunately, so I can't take advantage of this draw two cards. I can flip to alter ego, or flip to hero form. I could go Maria Hill and draw a card. Then play lethal intent with two specials and give Nebula a tough status card and we'll remove three threat. Maria Hill for the last two. Grab this ally who we can play for free. Uh, I don't have a resource to spend. I think I'm still going to play him for free though. And then we'll port for two. Damage for two. I should damage for two first, actually, before I play Moon Knight. See if thy event has a... I don't think any of the events in this deck have a wild resource, though. Combat ready. Okay. I'll go ahead and draw four. And we needed to... Discard to see if we deal damage to uh, Nova after I flip the hero form, which no problem. So we'll draw four. Two threat, plus one for the forced response. We'll have Taskmaster attack Maria Hill. And then one encounter card, which will be Hydra Soldier. Now, after your turn begins, we resolve the special ability I already have a toughness card. Remove three threat from a scheme. Deal four damage to an enemy. And we're set. So we'll go welcome aboard and hmm. what do I want to do here? Deal two damage. I'm gonna flip to alter ego. Heal for three. Play combat ready, and we'll go find a technique, evasive maneuvering. And I'm gonna use power on all of us to pay for wide stance and draw two cards. And then go one, two, three for Drax and attack for three and we'll draw five so two threat and then a scheme for three and then an encounter card so we got Hydra sidearm gang up which is just a surge since we're an alter ego weapons master the villain schemes and does get a surge one, two, three. And it captured by Hydra. So that's a lot of threat that came out. We'll go ahead and play. Actually, I think I'm going to attack for two and retire Gamora. Get to discard looking for an event. Welcome aboard. Then we'll go. Make the call, one, two, three, four, for Nick Fury. Draw three cards. It's gonna be an extra encounter card. We need one of these captured allies underneath captured by Hydra. Whoops, I wasn't supposed to see that. I can use a lethal intent for a second wide stance and draw two cards. Moon Knight, port for two, retire him. Welcome aboard for Ironheart and draw a card. We'll go combat ready. 
weapons master. Welcome aboard for cutthroat ambition. And then we're gonna flip to hero form and use lethal intent for one, two. Use the stunner confuse. And the remove three threat. We'll go one, two. Do I have plus one thwart anywhere? No. Three, four, five. White Tiger, she can't come into play yet. Put Taskmaster into phase two, or phase three. That's an additional encounter card. And I needed to actually discard a card for Nova's damage but that'll just remove her toughness and then a second encounter card and we'll draw four okay so two threat and remove stun and we got three encounter cards to deal with photographic reflexes when a player attacks task taskmaster prevent all damage and deal an equal amount of damage to that player's identity instead Okay. Now they're captured. And a Hydra Soldier. Nick Fury is going to leave. And then at the beginning of the turn we start resolving these. We'll get another stun. Look at the top three, discard one, put the others back. So we can actually do that twice. Get rid of master plan. Doesn't matter the order right now because we're doing this twice. So we'll do it one more time. And we'll get rid of under fire. Put weapons master first so that it gets used as a boost card. And then we have Four damage and remove three threat. Go one, two, three, four for beast. Grab a resource card. I'm gonna go one, one, two. Grab this ally. Support. Support. And we'll play White Tiger. Um, actually, I think I'd rather have Shang-Chi. Don't need the response, but we'll use him for damage. So wait, actually he was, need to use Shang-Chi first and then Drax, so this two be reflected at Nova and we get rid of the counter card. Then we're all set and we can just draw three. So two threat, one attack, no attack, he's stunned, just one encounter card. So I actually miscalculated, that's going to be an encounter card I don't want. Weapon Master, the villain attacks you, and they do have a weapon, so it surges. Haunted, hunted by Hydra, Insight 1. Each player in hero form takes one damage and discards a random card. And then Mimicry, discard the top five of your deck. If an attack card was discarded, Taskmaster attacks you. One, two, three, four. Does that count? Special attack? I'm going to have to look that up. I don't know. Well, I couldn't find anything, but I'm going to say yeah. It probably does count as an attack card. So, we'll have the attack go on Shang-Chi.
and then we're into the hero phase. So we can go clue. Make the call. White tiger. Use a science resource and remove three threat. Wart and remove the final two, and then we'll go one damage, two damage, two damage, and then I'm gonna flip to alter ego. Even though I can't do the technique draw two right now, I'm still gonna flip and then draw five. So two threat, one scheme for three. One encounter card, which will be Taskmaster's Training Camp. All right, can I deal, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six damage, seven, eight. Uh, no, I don't have lethal. Power and all of us, genius for Avengers Mansion, we'll draw a card. Root for unyielding persistence and draw two cards. It's going to be an extra encounter card. We'll flip and we may have to take damage. Three damage, ouch. Uh, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I actually do have enough, so we'll go one damage, one damage. 2 damage, 3 damage thanks to the buff, and then white tiger, draw 3, deal 2 damage. Well, Taskmaster is a fairly mild challenge on expert difficulty, relatively speaking. Wouldn't say Nebula was dominant against it. You can see the issue against a lot of scenarios which is that Nebula really struggles to generate resources outside of Alter Ego. She's pretty good at it in, in Alter Ego, but she's got her Alter Ego ability and her combat ready that really rely on her Alter Ego, and that is punishing in solo play. Not just because of a scenario like Taskmaster, but because you get punished for going to, to Alter Ego and solo just in general, unless you have the benefit of like a Confuse or something like that. It's not something you want to be doing a lot, and if you have to do it in order to take full advantage of the hero, then the hero tends not to be very strong. The technique system it does provide some power, though. It was enough to get through Rhino, and enough to get through this scenario on expert difficulty, and now we're going to move on and we're going to tackle Thanos on expert difficulty and see how Nebula does. And we're back, taking on Thanos on expert with our Leadership Nebula deck, and we'll see how it goes. So we got our Infinity Stones deck, which will go next to the Infinity Gauntlet. Top card of the Infinity Stone deck into play. And then we got the Sanctuary side scheme. We've got Thanos' helmet, which gives him Retaliate. And we have Stalwart and Toughness on Thanos. So, we'll see how this goes. We'll use Rapid Response to play and Yielding Presence and draw two cards. Go Welcome Aboard. Can't do that unless we're on hero side. Let's flip to hero. Welcome Aboard and Groot for Spider-Man. And we'll give him plus two thwart. Use strength to get out of ace of maneuvering. So we'll get rid of sanctuary right away. To the 
victory pile. And then we'll go ahead and draw four. And ready up. So one threat. And the villain activates. I'll have the attack go on Nebula, I would just tank it. It's four, four, five, so one, two, three damage. Power Stone is gonna stun Nebula. Just move this over a little bit. And then we need one encounter card, which will be Deviant Syndrome, Insight 1. Give Thanos a tough status card if you cannot place two threat on the main scheme. Okay. Not in great shape here. I really need to switch to Alter Ego, but that's... So I'm going to do it but it's dangerous. We'll flip and then we'll use Avengers Mansion and Cutthroat Ambition. Well, I gotta resolve these techniques at the start of the turn. So we get a tough status card, which is good. And it can stun or confuse an enemy, which is pointless because Thanos has Stalwart. Then we can flip. We'll use Avengers Mansion to play Cutthroat Ambition and draw two cards. We'll use is there somebody that I want to play in my discard pile? Groot, maybe? I don't think you can use Welcome Aboard with Make the Call. Not really sure about that. But, so I'll use Welcome Aboard to play Wide Stance. And we'll use Combat Ready times two to grab two techniques. Wide Stance number two and Cutthroat Ambition. And then we'll draw six. So we got one threat. We got a scheme for three. Discard the top card of the Infinity Stone deck. That's going to be Space Stone, so plus two. One, two, three, four, five. And then we need an Infinity Stone in play. And a, an Encounter card. Tribute. Okay. Well, let's play another technique and draw two cards. Let's flip, get rid of the stun. Move three threat, three threat. Or damage and go one two three four for beast and grab a resource card so I want to do lethal intent with three but maybe I'll do just two and get out Maria Hill so lethal intent one two and remove three threat remove three threats so we can go First we'll use Maria Hill to thwart for two. Deal an encounter card, then we'll go one, two, three, one, two, three. And use Beast. Remove the toughness. No, I don't want to do that. Just thwart and then draw five. So we got one threat, we got a Thanos attack on Maria Hill. And we've got an Infinity Stone, you are confused. And we've got two encounter cards, which will be Black Dwarf and Proxima Midnight. That's tough. So a lot of stuff going off here. Remove the threat. Look at the top card, top three twice. Get rid of Ebony Maw. I 
I don't mind either of these two cards. And then Weapon Master for 4 damage. So we'll go 1, 2, 3 for White Tiger and draw 2. Well, White Tiger can take out Black Dwarf. Then we have one, two, three, four. Take out Proxima Midnight. And I'm going to flip to Alter Ego here and draw two cards. And then I'll play Wide Stance also. We're not doing well against Thanos, I would say. We're breaking even, but we're having to flip to Alter Ego a lot just to break even. And Nebula's really struggling to make any progress. So one threat and one scheme for one, two, three. And then we need an Infinity Stone and an Encounter card, which will be Deviant Syndrome, Insight 1, and two more Threat. We'll play an Upgrade, draw two cards. We'll play Maria Hill. No, we'll play Gamora. Resolve a special. We'll do the four damage. It is an attack, so it does retaliate. It doesn't say that it's a hero attack, but I guess it would retaliate against the hero. But after. So we need to do a basic attack and then discard strength and science. So I'm not going to pay using rocket, I'll pay using make the call and then I'm gonna flip and do a basic attack for two and discard the two required cards to get rid of Thanos helmet and I'll take the damage and we'll go one two remove threat and draw four so one threat one attack from Thanos on White Tiger. Infinity Stone, heal three damage and give a boost. One encounter card, which will be Exhaustion. Choose and discard two techniques you control. That's a bummer. I want the damage, I think. And that's just going to get discarded. Okay, for the hero phase, get out Ironheart and draw a card. I need four damage to Thanos. We can go one, two, three. 4, 5, and then flip to Alter Ego, play Wide Stance and draw 2, play Combat Ready, play Cutthroat Ambition number 2, and then we'll draw 5. So 1 Threat, 1 Scheme for 1, 2, 3, just three, no problem. One Infinity Stone. One Encounter Card, Advance, so he schemes for three. Discard an Ally or Support. Uh, okay, Rip Ironheart. And then the Infinity Stone will go off. Discard an Ally, Upgrade, or Support.
Okay. So let's play another one. Evasive maneuvering and draw two cards. Let's flip and remove the confused. Well, first let's use combat ready. Well, no upgrades, that's unfortunate. And we can go one, two, th for Groot. Lethal intent for one and remove three threat. That's a hero action, so we have to flip first. And I'll draw five. Alrighty, one threat, and Thanos will attack Groot. Discard the top card of the Infinity Stone deck. That's plus four, and Thanos gets another boost card for three, so that's going to be enough to kill Groot, unfortunately. Let's get this deck shuffled up. And then we got two encounter cards coming in. The Black Order and Master of the Stones. And after Thanos activated, there should have been a Infinity Stone coming in. So for the hero phase, we'll go ahead and resolve these for remove three threat, remove three threat. Stun or confuse, that does nothing. I may make the call if Nick Fury is in the discard. He's not, okay. after you play Gamora, so that's not the same as she, her being put into play. I think we'll go with Spider-Man and give him plus two attack. Two there, and we'll draw five. So one threat, one attack from Thanos. Infinity Stone, heal three damage, give a boost card. So we're still in phase two. How many cards are left in the encounter deck? Eight? Okay. And then when Thanos activates, put the top card into play. That's not an after, that's win, so it should be two Infinity Stones this time. The end of the six activation discard. So discard the top four of your deck and place one threat for each different card type. Ally, upgrade, upgrade, ally. So that's two threat. And then we have one encounter card, which will be super giant with quick strikes. So that's two damage. Ah, uh, we're gonna have to defend so that I don't get stunned. Well, I got Nebula's ship. Get Kalu out. No events. Don't have the ability to take out Super Giant. I can thwart for two and flip to Alter Ego. That's about all I can do. I'm not sure. Hmm. I think I'm going to stay in Hero. Okay, so one threat, one attack from Thanos. If damage from this attack defeats an ally, put the top card of the Infinity Stone deck into play. It will. 
and then we need to resolve that infinity stone. Discard until a minion is discarded. Put that into play and engage with you. That's rough because these minions are pretty big. There may not be one though. Okay, so that's our first time through the deck. And then Super Giant gets an attack, which Nebula will need to defend. And we're on to the hero phase. Get Nick Fury out and draw three. Going to flip to Alter Ego here and use Nebula's ship to play Wide Stance and draw two. Play Iron Heart and draw one. We'll go Kalu for one damage. Or for one thwart, and then we'll go one, two, three, four for beast. Grab a resource card. So that was a pretty big turn. It was on the back of the leadership and basic cards, though, not really on Nebulas, though she did contribute with the cybernetic upgrades. She'd be good if you could cybernetic upgrades on her hero side. We'll just go one, two, three, four, five, and take out Super Giant, I think. and then draw five. So two threat and Thanos will scheme for three, four. Infinity stone into play. Counter card. Exhaust. Deviant syndrome. And Surge, I am inevitable, will give Thanos a boost card. Okay, Nick Fury leaves. He'll play an upgrade, draw two. Go one, two, three, four for Avengers Mansion and draw one. Flip to hero form and we'll go one, two for lethal intent. Uh, no. Just going to use one to play a cutthroat ambition. And then one for lethal intent and I'll remove three threat. Remove two thread, and then we'll draw five. Two threat, one attack. Power stone. And counter card. Thanos gets a boost card. Okay, we'll resolve the specials. Look at the top three. Um, definitely don't want Blood to Spare. Then we're going to get an extra attack next round. Nebula gets a tough. Move three threat. Draw a card. Go one, two, for Kalu, and look at the top five. Grab lethal intent. Get the stun off of there. And get Gamora out. Four for one. Deal two damage. Discard until we find an event. 
Can I afford to flip to alter ego here? I think I'll do it next round. So we'll just draw three. Two threat, one attack. Stone and encounter guard and the villain attacks, which is not a surprise. It does mean infinity stone, you are confused. Okay, well, let's get the confuse off. Draw a card. I'm going to need to make the call. Nick Fury preferably. So let's go one, two, three, four for Nick Fury. And in this case, I'm going to remove three threat. I rarely do that, but I want to flip to alter ego. Draw two. And use combat ready to get another one out. And we'll get rid of power on all of us and we'll draw five. Oh wait, I also, these will be the discards for Gamora's attack. Discard, 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 looking for an event. Combat ready, we'll use that, see if there's a technique in the last two, there isn't. Okay, so an extra encounter card and then we'll draw five. And we got two threat, we got an attack on, no, a, a scheme. One, two, three, four, five, six. And an encounter card. Thanos gets a boost card. And then we have two encounter cards. Give Thanos a tough status card. Okay, off goes Nick Fury. We don't have an, a technique. He's combat ready. We can go Gamora. Remove three threat. Discard this infinity stone. Draw a card. There's a technique, so now we can draw two cards. Flip to alter ego, and we can go one, two, and three for a lethal, and ten for three. That's four, eight, and remove three threat. Let's have Gamora remove the toughness first, deal eight damage. Actually, we can't play two Gamoras. So before playing that Gamora, this Gamora needed to attack and remove the toughness. And we can discard to find an event. And we can do the other stuff. And I think I forgot two damage, but I'm not sure. Do two more. So we're making progress. Making progress. I think Nebula can just tank this. Tribute. Okay, so let's draw a card. One, two, three, four for White Tiger and draw two cards. Well, first I need to resolve this stuff. So actually, let's 
it's going to put us into phase three. Thanos' armor comes out. And then remove the toughness. Look at the top three. Let's get rid of Avatar of Death. Let's have this now. Do it like that. Then we also have remove three threat. Okay, then in phase three we draw three cards instead of two. We can use make the call for Nick Fury. And we can use Gamora, four for two, four for two, four for two. Make a basic attack for one, and use a lightning and strength resource. Can't do that, don't have any. So instead we'll just thwart for, or yeah, thwart for two, and we'll go Maria Hill for Cutthroat and draw two. So two threat, one attack. Soul Stone, heal three, give a boost. Two encounter cards. Proxima, Black Order. Let's draw. Wait, actually, if I do that, I'll shuffle. Yeah, I think I'm going to make the call for four before I shuffle the deck because I want Nick Fury again. And draw three. It's an extra encounter card. Draw. Probably that should have been shuffled in as well. Can go one, two, three, four. Welcome aboard for Maria Hill and draw a card. Five. Get rid of Black Order. Four for two. No, attack for two. But just one because of Thanos armor. We'll go welcome aboard combat ready for Rocket Raccoon and have him thwart for two. And then we'll draw five. Forgot about Nebula's ship. Two threat, one attack. It's gonna defeat an ally, so we got the top card into play. Another one. And we resolve these, you are stunned. Discard until we find a minion. Ebony Maw. We're almost to two boost icons on the scheme. If we can't defeat this soon, we're going to lose. And then we got two encounter cards coming. Schemes for three. Discard an ally or support. I guess Maria Hill. And that'll bring another Infinity Stone in. Master of the Stones. Okay. Uh, we'll get rid of the stun. Draw a card. Draw a card. Rocket can deal four damage. And go one, two, three for Gamora. So we'll have Rocket deal four. 
more or two. We'll look for an event. Four for one. Play wide stance and draw four. It's going to be two threat, one attack. Another infinity stone. So we have discard the top four and one threat for each different type. Ally, upgrade, event, resource. That's four threat. Mind stone, you are confused. And counter card, and that's boost number two. Tribute. Let's draw a card, get rid of the confuse. Should need to resolve these three threat. Can you actually use that special, the thwart, when you are confused? I think probably not. I think it just goes away unresolved. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of the Black Dwarf. Hmm. One. Yikes. Um, I have to play Beast to get some Thwart. Two. Three, four for beast. Grab a resource. Get out an yielding presence. Thwart for two. It's the extra encounter card. Thwart for two. Thwart for one. We'll find an event and use that to pay for weapons master. And draw five. One, two, three, one attack from Thanos. Infinity Stone, extra boost card. Thanos gets tough. Top card of the Infinity Stone deck. Resolve these. Discard an ally, upgrade, or support. Heal three damage and give a boost card. And then two encounter cards. Gang up, the villain attacks. That's gonna probably have to go on beast. That defeats an ally, so we got, and then that gets resolved in a stun. And then we have Deviant Syndrome, give a tough status card or two threat, and that's going to advance the scheme. And that means shuffle your discard pile into your deck and remove the top half of your deck from the game. It's going to be 16 cards. There we go. They are out of the game. Thanks to the snap. Okay. Let's remove the stun. Draw a card. Clue.
need to resolve unyielding presence and persistence. One, two, three for Groot. Wide stance. I don't know how these two things interact with each other. When Thanos would take any amount of damage, does that go off? It's a forced interrupt. What is toughness? I'd say he needs to be attacked for two to remove the toughness when he's got the armor. We can draw four. Uh, I'm about ready to call this a loss. We'll face tank. Nebula just can't generate enough resources to deal with uh, a hero that's gener or a scenario, a villain that's generating a lot of resources. So we got the snapped on, which is let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Getting snapped on is terrible in uh, campaign because you lose half your deck for the rest of the campaign, which in solo is just a loss, a campaign loss. Accidentally dealt too many cards. Um, we could keep going for a while. The problem is we just can't too much here. Let's see, we can get rid of lightning and strength resource and get rid of the armor. So we're slowly, slowly moving forward, but now with half the deck, this should be resolved. Get rid of Ebony Maw. Okay. We can go one, two for rapid response. Four for two, four for one. Deal two damage, draw four. And we'll attack the root. Rapid response and back in. Confuse. Counter card. Okay. Who do I have available for make the call? Gamora? Sure. We'll go Maria Hill to thwart. And we'll make the call for Gamora. Draw a card. Can't play both Gamoras. We'll use Combat Ready for Weapons Master. Two, look for an event. Play Wide Stance. And we'll just go ahead and draw four. How many times have I cycled this quest? Attack on Kalu. Two encounter cards. That's going to be two more encounter cards. Villain attacks. That'll need to go on uh, Gamora most likely. Discard an ally or upgrade. And then space stone discard until you find a minion. That's going to quick strike for two, which we'll need to defend. Now we need another encounter card. Corvus. Thanos' helmet. Okay, this is likely the last turn. Resolve Weapons Master, deal 4 damage. Let's 
get out a weapons master. Draw a card. One, two, three, and resolve a special. And first we'll use Maria Hill to take out the toughness, then we'll resolve the special. Not a bad turn. One threat, one attack. Should have been a retaliatory damage though, so. Um, let's see, the attack will go on Maria Hill. Infinity Stone, extra boost card, and counter card. I am inevitable, extra boost card. Let's go ahead and draw a card. Do a basic attack and take a retaliate and then we need strength and science. Let's go strength and science because I want the rapid response. Get rid of Thanos helmet. And we can go one, two for rapid response. This should have dealt four damage. But I think that also is a retaliate since the retaliate was still there at that time. Two, draw four. Are we on the home stretch? Need to not get too greedy. I want Gamora back into play. Um, but there is no technique to take advantage of that. Well, it's after you play, not after you put her into play. We'll still have the attack go on Groot. Okay, no problem. Rapid response him back in. Discard the top four, place one threat. I only have one, so one threat. Counter card. Caught off guard. Oof, which of these supports? I'm going to keep Avengers Mansion. It's better than Nebula's ship. I can't really afford to flip to Alter Ego anymore. Should be another encounter card coming because of that. Uh, empty deck and then each player is not engaged with the minion searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a black order minion which is the mildest one I like black dwarf probably uh, we could take ebony maw we still have to do six damage and that is not going to be easy draw a card. Can't really flip to Alter Ego. I don't have anything to make the call for. We'll just have to leave Ebony Maw there. Warp for two. Damage for two. go 1-2 for lethal attempt and resolve both of these. Toughness. Look at the top three. Don't want Thanos' helmet. This seems fine. And we'll deal two damage. Draw five. We got two threat, one attack, which will go against the toughness. Damage from this attack defeats an ally, it won't. One damage from Ebony Ma, and he gets a boost. Will have Groot defend that? Uh, I was hoping that the boost wouldn't kill Groot, but it does. 
opponent counter card. The villain schemes for three. Discard the top card of the infinity deck. Four, five, six, and that is going to end this attempt. Well, if I could have kept on grinding indefinitely, I could have won. Uh, this was like a marathon quest, though. But I think this rather effectively shows the limitations of Nebula, what she can do and what she can't do. Her techniques are fun. Her resource generation is very limited. Very limited. And so this is a hero that I would say can do some things and is above average, but is definitely more on the thematic or fun side of things. That would be why you buy this hero and not because you expect her to defeat too many difficult scenarios. Thanos isn't really that high on the difficulty curve in terms of expert level difficulty scenarios. And so Nebula is just too limited in her resource generation to be effective and needing to switch to the alter ego to use it makes her very limited indeed if you ever lose control of the board at all in solo play. So she's fun with the technique cycling in and out and you can have some big turns where you're flipping to alter ego and using her lethal intent and her techniques but ultimately she is not that powerful and definitely on the weaker side of the heroes that we've spotlighted so far probably she is the weakest nonetheless still an above average hero as she was able to get past Rhino on Heroic 1 and not every hero is capable of doing that. So next video we'll take a look at the Nebula deck and give a buying guide for her for those of you who are looking at building the best possible Nebula deck that you can make and thank you for watching.